Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbird. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my great videos. Greatness is here. <laughs> uh, in front of us we have the Royal Magnavox 89. I kind of added the word Royal to make it cool. Um, this is the AM FM portable radio or FM AM pocket radio, however you prefer. This radio was generously donated by Jennifer in California. Big shout out to Jennifer. Thank you very much. She knows I love Magnavox. She says, I know it, and I'm sending you one. So here you go. And whoa, this thing is cool looking. <laughs> I didn't even know it existed. I saw it. And I'm like, this is awesome. I don't have this one. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I did the 29, the 39, the D1000. And to get this is just, it's great. It's just like making my collection just grow and look cool. Yeah, they can put them all together. It's definitely neat. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got the original box with it, which I love getting original boxes. Really cool. I just think it makes it, I mean, I'm not a super collector. Like, oh, it's got to be mint or it's got to be, you know, got to have the box or got to have the manual. But it's cool when it has it. You know, I'm kind of, it's kind of neat. I'm not, I'm not that serious of a collector as far as what it has to have with it. But it is cool. All right, so there's front, we got sides, Magnavox 89. So I did some research in this radio right around 1980 or late 70s probably because the styling and the just the way the wording is and everything, it just seems like that. Plus the uh, paperwork inside mentions 1979 as a basic number. So, all right, so let's go ahead and open this up. All right, there's the radio. It's cool. I'm sure it probably had a plastic bag or something at one day. The side, it comes with a manual in there. Let's see if I can get that out of there. It's a pretty old manual, it's been around a while. All right, yeah, definitely it's been in that box for a long time. Okay, so we'll open this up here. Magnavox, yeah, they love their logo. Holy cow, it's like the biggest thing on here. Um, so yeah, good uh, warranty, it looks like. Information, power source. I love this part, watch this. Then insert the four AA batteries. Four AA batteries? Damn it. <laughs> it's like, I'm here to suck your batteries dry. <laughs> Just turn me on, I dare you. That's kind of what it's saying, right? <laughs> I'm having fun. Get it? <laughs> it's all about fun. I love radios. This is so much fun. All right, so here's some basic information. And the backside has some really cool stuff, like maintenance. Radio will not function properly on weak batteries. And you know what's cool? I'm going to link a video. This is by somebody I don't even know. But uh, yeah, I really don't. I just came across the video of this device that uses uh, weak batteries to power a, uh, a flashlight. It like reclaims the, the uh, battery somehow and is able to keep this little flashlight running. And it's like it run for five weeks on a dead AA battery. So pretty cool. It's way off tangent here, but I'm going to put a link up there for that video. And you can check it out. I think it's neat. Um, I'm going to probably buy a couple of those kits and maybe do a little review on them. Who knows? I know it's not really part of a radio, but... Uh, radio team supports it, I believe. So here we go. Magnavox, owner responsibility important. All right, so there we go. Throw that over there. And the radio, yeah, let's get to the radio. Let's look at the styling of this thing. Now look, look, right? It doesn't, you don't have to turn it on. It's so cool. Be like, yeah, check it out. I can just hear the tunes coming out of this thing. <laughs> Dude, it's so cool. Look, what the heck? I love it. All right, or dudes or dudettes. You know what I mean? You know, I'm talking to all of you. Um, so, Dimensions of the Magnavox 89. Three inches across, five and a half inches high, and a thick as a brick, one and five eighths of an inch depth. Look at that sucker. It's so thick. Thick as a brick. Yes, I love it. I do love that. It's just something about that. Almost like a Tupperware container. Look how big that thing is. All right, so really cool. I like the style here. It's got like a brushed flat black plastic here, and it's got this rib design here to grab onto. Uh, here you got your volume wheel on off. Turn it on. Cool. Uh, front 89. Yeah. Here you got your dial. FM 88 to 108. AM is in reverse because of the way the dial works. Uh, 550 to 1600 kilohertz. Here we have really cool speaker grill. Almost reminds me of like venting on a car or something. It's cool. Um, it's a two inch speaker behind there. Magnavox. Yeah. Nice big logo. They were proud of the radios. You should be. It was cool. So on the right-hand side, we got the same carryover design, and we have the tuning wheels. You can tune it. Do, 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 do. You can see the, the little indicator kind of like does that little diagonal cross thing going on. They like doing that. That's cool. Um, up here on top, you'll notice carryover, so you can tune from the top and from the side, which I think is pretty cool. 
So if you guys are sitting up, because it does stand, <laughs> you can tune it from the top. Great deal. Uh, bottom of the radio, you got your ID and stuff that you need to warranty your radio. Here, though, I had a wrist strap. I don't know where it went. Um, so I, I think two hands got a hold of this and chewed it off. <laughs> I know you did. Where's my wrist strap? I want it back. <laughs> I'm joking, two hands. Don't take offense. I know you like your wrist strap, so sorry. <laughs> Vented cabinet, uh, AM, FM band select switch on the back. Top here, we got the antenna that extends to a whopping 15 and a half inches. Sweet. Uh, and we'll start in the FM. And yeah, so inside he has four AA batteries. It's a big tank. There's like a, a four cell holder here. And uh, it holds four AA's. Makes a real pain to open and close. Otherwise, I'd show you what the inside is. I'm just not going to do it on camera. Just too hard to put back together. Uh, so let's go ahead, turn it on, and raise the old antenna here. And we'll just do a quick band scan, and we'll do some radio Totterbert. Oh, man. You know what I want to do just to help this radio out? I got the Texan wire. I'm just going to clip it to the top here. This will kind of help it along. And after I do this little band scan, we'll do a reception report. So let's first just flip through here so we can find anything. Go to the bottom. It's on 98.7. The dial's not accurate, but who cares? The radio looks cool. Okay, it gives you a basic idea of what it sounds like. Hey, you got a few stations in here. Yeah, because I hooked up the wire, but um, it did pretty good. FM reception report. I like to do these now on all my radios. I do a little quick band scan now. I, I was getting a little nervous, but if you go fast enough on the FM, you get a general idea, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to get hit by the copyright police on that because I wasn't sitting on the music. Um, so here we go. FM reception report. Sensitivity is okay to good. Um, yeah, it was about two and a half stars, so it's right in the average range. I got about three dozen stations outside with it, walking uh, the neighborhood, trying to you know get a good, good reception, try to aiming it the right direction and everything else. And it seemed okay, it just wasn't super sensitive. Um, this radio is a really basic radio, and it probably was a basic radio back in the day. So if you look, there's no headphone port, so this wasn't like the premium model for sure, but uh, definitely has some cool looks to it. So this must have been like the the lower end as far as cost radios, what I'm guessing. Uh, but yeah, so that the sensitivity and then the selectivity was just okay. And, so, and what it is, when I was tuning it, those big stations that you heard there, the distortion would just like carry over on other weaker stations and you couldn't even hear them. So you were stuck just hearing the bigger stations, hence why the sensitivity probably wasn't as good either. So overall, it's like a two and a quarter star out of five for the FM reception. It's still usable for your uh, local stations. Plus, you got to remember, I live in a semi-rural environment where my FM stations are fairly far away. So I do kind of suffer from that just a little bit as far as walking around trying to get those stations in. Uh, so you got to be the judge of that. But when I review a, a radio that's excellent on FM, you could, you'll, you'll know that in a rural, semi-rural area that your radio is going to rock. So if I ever say it's excellent, like the EP Pro or the, um, I'm just thinking of names off the top of my head, other radios I've done. Um, there's a Kato radio I just did. It was just excellent. And, um, yeah, just, there's some radios out there that I gave a good, very good or excellent review on FM. And those radios are just amazing. So just want to give you a heads up on that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some radio Totterbird and rock this out. So we're going to go ahead and turn this up, turn on radio Totterbird and get over to 98.
cool. So let me just turn that off. Get a kick out of that. Okay, so we're gonna go to the AM band and we'll see how that does. During the day, the AM was pretty good. Um, the problem with this radio is I think it was quiet from the beginning. I went through here, I replaced a capacitor or two um, and just to brighten it up a little bit, helped a little, but the uh, I think that was originally just a quiet radio on the AM. So it took me some volume back and forth, but I was able to get some good stations during the day. I was getting all my locals, no problem, nice and clear. And I was getting uh, some semi-locals are coming in nice and clear too. Once I found them on the dial, then it would come in. So it's a little bit of tweaking of all, a little bit of volume control, uh, but it works out good still. So for an older radio, it rocks. So we're gonna turn this up. And for time, 1036 or 1037 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, that is in Chicago or near Chicago, Illinois. Give you an idea of location. Let's see if we find anything fun, any long distance stations. I haven't tried this at night yet. Well, actually I did last night. I got some Zoomer radio on it. So let's go ahead and Jam this. It's gonna be loud. So sorry if it breaks in here, like screaming. Start at the bottom of the dial. Okay. I believe in my head and my heart that we no longer There's always a bleeding heart on the radio. We want to hear music. <laughs> Or sports, or I don't know. Some people like talk radio if it's fun and funny. It's all the seriousness. Too much. I want to hear about the Sasquatches. <laughs> the Sam Squatches. <laughs> if you guys know the Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> yeah, I watched it. Holy cow. I want my, I want my time back. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> You haven't seen it, it's hilarious. So I think this is probably 6.30 here. Get some static here from 6.50. So this is a WSM Nashville. I'll just double check to be sure that it is that. Just having a hard time with this radio getting it tuned in, but it works. Uh, WSM Nashville, that's 434 miles. This is not very good defense in the infield. So what a way here. Three to two, throw to first, Brian slides back safely, and Jason Hayward in the three spot is at the plate. He's 0 for 2, and you might be wondering, why do the Cubs have this lineup? Joe Madden put a lot of thought into Go Cubbies. Um, 670, the score in Chicago. No more deals. I listen to this a lot. Hayward is taken for a strike, 0 and 1, and the reason is the Okay, I don't know what they're talking about there, but let's see, I think it's a 700. Um, maybe not. <laughs> okay, that's 720. I know this can get 700. There you go, 700. This is uh, WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Just guess I gotta ease into it here. This is 720 WGN. It's beautiful. Thank you. Have you recorded uh, these? Yeah, kind of music program. Okay, so that's 740 CFZM. We're going to go back to it for like a split second because I just love listening to CFZM. Uh, 740 Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Saturday night bandstand. Zoomer hits a party. 
party hits. Okay, you get the idea. Sweet. Yeah, it comes in clear always. So we can call it that NATO had to action in me versus the long boy. Hmm, I wonder if it's 750. Yeah, 750. Cool, so let's pick up some fire stations. WSB Atlanta, 630 miles. Not bad. Gotta really crank the volume, though. Dr. Tonos, who does pelvic, has to undergo. So he happened to be one of our residents that graduated, and he had took an interest in trauma. So 760 is uh, WJR Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. This is pelvic trauma, and that's the hip joint, the pelvis, where it's all cold protecting the quarantined room. The kids are really cute. They're everyone for rescuing them. Uh, they asked them. The story that keeps on going. Wow. Like said, I really want to. Um, 780, uh, WBBM, Chicago, Illinois. Much. And the word is that. I think I'm on the 850 area. And we're back. Yeah. A little interruption with my video there. All right, so now we found an 860 CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. Let's see if this is 870, which I don't think so, but we can check it. Nice. So it's picking up WWL New Orleans, 865 miles. Sweet. WCBS, I can barely make out. 890. 900. CHML, Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles. Gonna kind of cruise the band out. Well, oh, there's they think up here. I mean, he's a Chicago guy. One thousand ESPN. He's That should be 1020 KDKA doing classic radio. Have to make those moves. They really do. I mean, because 
because if they don't make those moves, I'm not going to be really optimistic about the season if our bullpen is still where it's at, and we don't have WTM that extra bat in the field. I think we're, I'm not saying that you can't still going over there. All right. Storage that's designed and built around you. 1120. St. Louis, Missouri, 205 miles, KMLX. The Gateway Region YMCA's 40th Annual Book Fair, August 17th through the 21st. Consider uh, iOS version and his work. Okay. So I got like an 11.4 and his was like a 10.2 or 10.9 or something. I'm going to go to the top of the dial. This is uh, 1540, KXEL, Waterloo. Classic radio shows from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Central Standard on Saturday nights. They even do a matinee 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays. Cool station. Awesome. Let's see, I think that's probably 1630. Let me just jump up there and give that a check real quick here with the pocket. Yeah, because CHHA, they have that more Hispanic music playing on 1610. This is probably 1630. Hmm, close. It is 1610. <laughs> okay, it must be like a remix or something. <laughs> Uh, CHHA Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Cool. So that's 1630 there. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I can't get that station with the pocket. <laughs> I'm trying, and I wanted to do that. Okay, 16:30 is mixing another station. This radio is just getting it better and clearer. Wow, cool. Good radio. I can't even see the tuner. 1660. That's where it tops out. Okay, cool. All right, let's do final thoughts. I always like doing those long ambient scans because I can get away with it usually. Most of the time they're talking, not too much music. All right, so let's do final thoughts on the Magnavox 89 AM FM portable radio or FM AM pocket radio, whatever you prefer. I love the styling number one. Holy cool classicness. Look at that thing. Just, yeah, it's cool. Go get yourself one. Um, yeah, did I tell you about the pricing? They run about $20 to $30 on eBay. It's kind of what the, the market was on this. Uh, again, it's not the premium Magnavox. It's kind of more of their, their basic entry-level model, but still cool. I mean, look at that. It's just awesome, man. Yeah. Another one of those, like, brick-in-a-hand type of things. <laughs> look at that. I love it. Uh, so it definitely gets a buy from Todd Herbert just because... Classic styling, 
does pretty good on AM. Pretty happy with it. I mean, you can find some good stations, and you know, it's not a total dud. It's great. It's actually really good. Um, I was expecting it not to perform as well, but it's performing awesomely. FM, decent. So all around, just a good little simple classic portable that you can walk around with and look cool at the same time as you're playing your tunes. Yeah, that's what I was doing because you can't plug in headphones. <laughs> so you got to shout it out loud. <laughs> it's awesome. I love this thing. Yeah, okay. Big shout out again to Jennifer. Thank you for joining this radio. It is awesome. And you guys, if you can, give me a big thumbs up for this video. If you like my presentation, you enjoy the, the radios I review, this type of radio, definitely. Um, if you are new to the channel and you're like, dude, Magnavox, I like Magnavox, then by all means, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. You're probably going to see more Magnavoxes in your future, <laughs> just because I love them. Uh, three, uh, make sure to comment below what you think about the Magnavox 89. Yeah. Do you want to buy one? Do you have one? Did you used to have one? Let's bring back memories. Everybody has a story to tell, um, an opinion to say, of course. <laughs> I don't mind reading them. And uh, number four, <laughs> if you guys really are like, man, Todd has some really cool reviews. I love I love how people would give him radios. And I want to give him a radio too. Hey, um, contact me, that business inquiry thing. All it is is you click it and you, you just say, you want my email. So click it, get my email, you know, write me something real quick. You know, say, hey, you know, I got this radio and we'll talk and uh, maybe you can uh, send one over and I'll review it and show it off to the world. Yeah. Give you credit. Give me some street cred. <laughs> This is awesome. All right, so I throw that out there. Okay, guys, thanks for your support. You guys are awesome as usual. Appreciate watching the video. Like I said, I love Magnavox. If you guys have any leads on some or you want to send me one, yeah, you guys are cool. You know who you are out there, the cool guys. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.